give you a quick tour of the city and then tomorrow I'm flying back to Malta. Uh, so behind me is Museum Gardens, so let's have a look around there first. <laughs> Right, we're walking along the city walls of York. There's not many English cities that still have a wall around them. New York pretty much has a wall all the way around it. I might be a bit biased because I was born and grew up in York, but York is still one of my, well, still the fa my favourite UK city by far. <laughs> We're going to the most famous gate. Uh, York has a number of gates where the, that was basically the only entry into York in the medieval times. So we're going to the most famous one, Mickle Gate, which was the main entrance of York. Okay, brief history lesson. So this was the main entrance into the city of York from anyone arriving from the south. At least a dozen reigning monarchs have passed through these gates and by tradition they have to stop here to ask the Lord Mayor's permission to enter the city. The gate was built in the 14th century. Micklegate originally had a barbican at the front as you can see in this image, but that was demolished in 1826. For centuries the severed heads of rebels and traitors were displayed above this gate. The many victims included Sir Henry Percy and Richard Duke of York in 14. 60. The last severed head was removed from this gate in 1754. Alright, something that York's most famous for is featuring on Braveheart, which one of my Scottish friends used to make fun of me quite a lot because they sacked York in Braveheart. Sir, we can get you out if you leave now. I'm not about to tell my uncle I've lost him the greatest city in Northern England. But I researched this and it doesn't happen, so screw you, Scotland. Alright, that's Clifford's Tower, built in 1245, uh, built next to the river and kind of in the centre of York, which, the game, which gave it a really good vantage point. and see, uh, see if we can take pictures inside. That's the end of vlog five. Sorry, it's a short one. I'm fairly rushed, but the light is sun is setting, so I need to do, kind of get it over quick. So tomorrow morning, early morning, flying back to Malta. So I'll see you there. Bye.